today. I am out in beautiful Ponderosa State Park up in McCall, and I could not ask for a better day. Blue skies, big fluffy billowy clouds, and of course, plenty of beautiful snow around me. Check that out. Uh, just a note to the wise, jeans, not the best thing to be wearing when snowshoeing, but when you don't plan on going snowshoeing, that's all you got, it'll have to do. Can I just say how lucky we are to live in the beautiful state of Idaho? Love to get away from my computer desk and my computer screen to come out here and just be in nature. Is uh, is that lemon snow? Should I eat it? You think it it could be lemon snow? Let's 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 fat. No, no, I wouldn't do that. I'm smarter than that. All this, all this down here, yeah, yeah. It's fur, yeah. The bears, they're shedding. Oh, would you look at that? There's more lemon snow. I've seen so much yellow snow today. They should really like open up a snow cone shack or something. So I've been reading this book lately. It's called Wild at Heart and it's all about um, regaining the heart of a man, a Christian man, and what that looks like. And it talks about God being wild. And it's so true. Look at his wilderness, the adventure he has built into the world. It's so funny when I go out snowshoeing or snowboarding or exploring a new city, I love to, to kind of get lost and go off the beaten trail. I have no idea where I am, but it looks as if I have stumbled upon some sort of woodland civilization. I hope they are peaceful people. And just find something new, go on an adventure, something that's exciting. But when it comes to walking with God and doing like day-to-day -day life, the unknown scares me a little bit. I have a little bit of fear that I've realized that I have to get over. It's all about living that life of faith and trusting God to do whatever it is he's trying to do in your life. And for some reason, that seems scary. And for me, I've been asking myself the question, why is one thing fun and the other thing is kind of scary? It doesn't make sense. Do I not have that same enthusiasm to jump off a, a cliff of faith? So I'm gonna challenge you today and I'm gonna challenge myself. Let's stop living cautiously. Now recently, I've been taking some a little more risks than I usually have and it's been really exciting. And each time, God is just kind of showing me that he is faithful and that he will come through for me. So you take the risk, he'll come through for you. Make sure it's the risk God wants you to take first. That's key and that's important too. Get out there, go do it. That's it for Snowshore Adventures. See ya.